Hello everyone and welcome to another SEO video tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to upload an FAQ schema markup with the help of a plugin that is called WP Code. So what is an FAQ schema markup? So for those of you who want to be featured under the people also ask section, so when people type in a query, you have this section that is called people also ask, and here we have certain answers that come up. These answers don't come magically. They come up because the website owners applied what we call FAQ schema markup on their websites. That's exactly what we're going to go through today. But before we go there, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And let's go straight to the point. So step number one, you are going to log in to your WordPress website. Then you are going to come here to plugins from the left hand side. And then you're going to say, I want to add a new plugin. So you are going to click on add new either from the left hand side or from the top. Then you are going to search for the plugin that is called WP Code. And once you search for this plugin, then you are going to find it and you are going to install it. Make sure that you activate also this plugin. So what this means is that once you actually attach it to your website, you need to come to plugins and you need to click on the plugin and say activate under the WP code plugin. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go to one of our posts just to give you a complete example. And let's say that we want to create an FAQ schema markup and we want to apply it to this post. So here we have a blog post that is called Best Kids Activities in Lagos. And let's say that we want to create a question which is called what are the best indoor kids activities in Lagos. So we are going to go to this link here, basically. So let me open the link. All the links, you're going to find them basically in the, in the video description. So don't stress about it. So we're going to come here to the schema markup generator. And we are going to say that we want to create an FAQ page. So we are going to copy the question from our blog. And we are going to paste the question here. And then we're going to copy the answer. And then we're going to paste the answer here. You want to add more questions? You can do that. You can add a second question, a third question, and so forth. You can see here that on the right hand side, the system creates the FAQ schema markup. So you are going to first copy this, and then you are going to test it through this tool. That's a link also that I'm going to have in the video description. So you need to validate your schema markup for errors. This is very important because if you don't validate your schema markup for errors, maybe you are going to upload basically in your website uh, code that is buggy and therefore you're going to create problems for your SEO instead of helping it. So you're going to paste the schema markup code here. So you copy it from the schema markup generator. You come to the schema markup validator. You paste it here in this box. How do we come to this box? Some people will say. So you come to this link basically here and you want to say, I want a new test. You're going to go to code snippet. You're going to paste your code here. You're going to click on run a test. Now, if you see that you have zero errors and zero warnings, it means that everything is fine. The last step is we are going to go to our blog post. We are going to scroll all the way down. We're going to find the plugin that we actually installed, which is the WP code page scripts. We're going to open it. We're going to go to the body. And here it says body, any device type. We're going to paste the schema code here. And we are going to save and publish our post. So the last step is we go to our WordPress website. We find the WP code uh, plugin. We paste the schema markup here. And then we publish the article or we update the article. doesn't matter if it's a new one or an old one. We can also add schema markups to all the articles and then we can update them. And that's how you can create an FAQ schema markup and potentially compete for a position here under people also ask results. Quick recap, step number one, 
you need to install the WP Codes plugin to your WordPress website. So you're going to go to plugins, you're going to install it, you're going to activate it, very important. Once you activate it, then you're going to come here to schema markup generator. You're going to select FAQ page. You're going to paste the question and the answer. Then you're going to copy the code. Then you're going to come here to the schema markup validator. You're going to paste the code. You're going to validate that this code has zero errors. If this is true, you're going to come back to your post, click on edit, scroll all the way down, or on the right-hand side, sometimes you can find the WP code page scripts. You go to body, where it says body, any device type. You paste the code, and then you publish or you update the article. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in the comments. For those of you who say, what if I don't have a WordPress website? For every technology, there is a different way that this can be done. So I'll probably make a video for weeks on how to apply uh, schema markup because I have a couple of weeks websites. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video.